Hello folks. In response to many requests on Patreon and uh, via eBay of all things, people have been wondering what this yellow box is of mine. Uh, well, it's my current limited power supply uh, with Variac, which is the red thing on the left. Anyway, people have asked me uh, how can they make one themselves. <laughs> Interesting for me because this is something I knock together. But um, here it is. I'm just going to move around it a little bit. So it's just got a, an LED uh, voltage, current, watts meter, a basic thing off uh, Amazon. Four switches, controls the four bulbs. On the top, we have a bypass switch. And on the side, there's an earth bypass. And on this side, you've got your output and a nice little breaker that's a four amp breaker so these things are sold as uh, an isolation transformer uh, that's not actually correct a lot of these the earth goes from the input side all the way through to the output side which is not truly an isolation transformer so if you're going to do this open one of these things up have a look inside and see if the earth continues across. If it does, and you're wanting to use this as a isolation transformer, put an isolating switch on the earth, which is what I've done there. Obviously, I've labelled it just to remind myself at the time which is what. And these types of toggle switches are quite good because you can see when they're on, they're off. It's pretty visual. So, to make one of these things, um, it, this thing here is a Variac. Uh, now, a Variac is uh, it's just a variable transformer, basically. Now, there's no point in making one of those. They're as cheap as anything off eBay, uh, 60 quid maybe. Uh, this is a sort of an analog version. You can get ones with LED displays. Who cares? You're not really looking at that. Anyway, this is far more interesting. So, here's your Variac. So, at the moment it's showing 250 on the meter it's showing 267.8 volts and you can just turn it around lower it down as much as you like until it turns off That hum is what you would expect from a variac. Nothing to see there. Now, as far as the internals of this thing is concerned, um, let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Right. In there is the basic wiring. Now, there's no point in me hanging around showing you in there too much because it's just a nightmare, isn't it? But, you know, it's purposeful and uh, it works. So what you do need to see is a schematic which I'll, I'll show you in a bit. But the most important thing about these isolation transformers is you understand the principles of it. Now if you're wanting to plug old test gear in, maybe something like that, like that or anything at all that you're not sure of this gadget here you can plug your old device in and what happens is it limits the current or the supply voltage via the variac to the device that you're unsure about so if you plug it in and I can these are each, each bulb is 40 watts so what I can do I can plug this suspect device in, turn the voltage right down, and then we can turn it up nice and slowly. Now, if there is a problem, if there's a short circuit uh, inside the device you're wanting to check, depending on how many of these switches on you've got, will light a bulb up, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So I'm just going to pause this and so plug something in. Okay, 
I've got a Dremel plugged in here now on the side. You can see that clearly enough. So at the moment I've got two of these switches on so if I turn this on it's going to be drawing some form of current and it should light up two bulbs. So that's limiting the current supply to this now. It's showing the 70 watts. So if I press the bypass now, which takes the bulbs out of the circuits, that, that's full whack. So sorry about the noise. So if I was to put on three switches off, I should just light one bulb up like that. Two on, three on, you can like, that's what I'm on and that one, you can't see it now, it's that faint. Four on, can't see it at all. Unless I plug something with a heavier draw. If I plugged in a vacuum or something like that into here, all four would light up very brightly. So they just very faintly light up. And that's it, that's the principle of it. So there's no mysteries really, it's just, if you've got this wired up right, it's, it's the most useful thing you can have in your, on your workbench, without a doubt. Uh, it probably will save your life if you're messing around with old stuff. So to, to go over the most important points again, is if you buy one of these, double check to see if the earth continues right across. Now the, the earth on the incoming side is attached to the iron core. This, the transformer itself is actually buried in epoxy. But nonetheless, if you had a winding failure and it went to earth, um, well, it it's do, does what it's supposed to do. But if you're wanting a true isolation transformer and you don't want the earth traveling across, because if you know a bit about um, electricity, um, you'll understand, or well, certainly in the UK, we have earth bonded neutrals. So the neutral supply coming into the house is actually effectively Earth 2 or, or vice versa. So in the UK, um, if it's not Earth bonded at your consumer unit or the incoming supply, it'll be Earth down the substation. It, it, earth will be attached to neutral at some point. So to have a true isolation transformer, so the output floats, as they call it, so it's not actually attached to anything other than the induction caused by the transformer, you need to isolate your earth so that you haven't got a potentially another neutral supply coming across. So that's the things to bear in mind with these things. Um, nothing else to say really. Um, oh yes, except how I made it. These are just yellow, I chose yellow, you can get them red or whatever color you like. Ceramic bulb holders, simple as that. Nothing special there. Just a bit of threaded bar, hollow lamp bar, goes from bottom to top with a nut. These bulbs are just some vintage things. You can get them off eBay. All sorts of different shapes and sizes. I mean, if you want a bit of Frankenstein on your bench, I mean, these are great. And the incandescent filaments, it's very easy to see when they're on. If you, um, if you're working with one bulb, you can get very small adjustments. Um, you can see that. If I was drawing less than this thing, in fact, you can let's put two on. It gives you a really good indicator of just what's going on. Yeah, so these bulbs not only do they look nice, they actually serve a very good purpose because of that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to, to say about this, uh, except I'll, I'll go to the circuit now and I'll, I'll show you how I did it. Just before I go, just to clarify, I've just looked back at the video and uh, I've neglected to mention that, if you didn't already know, of course, that this silver die cast box doesn't come uh, with this transformer. These transformers just come yellow like that. No switches, obviously none of this. They come with an outlet port and a lot of them come with these circuit breakers anyway. And 
they don't obviously come with an earth switch and they come with a cable like that so if you're buying the isolation transformer that's what you're going to get all the rest of it is what I've done and just to clarify that has not been modified in any way straight off eBay as it is okay I'll show you the circuit now okay here's the circuit and as you can see here the earth on the incoming as it stood this earth continued along without break into the isolation transformer so I've added this obviously it has its dangers neutral live iron core symbol breaker 4 amp now this is here is the is uh, on those LED displays is four four wires needed two of them go to the ferrite ring coil that goes around the live and the outgoing so you can see the current the uh, voltage display uh, the display itself needs 240 so you take that not after the event you take it before the event uh, there's your other bypass there's the danger again so once you click that switch those bulbs are bypassed completely and you've just got 240 going straight through so you'll have no current limit at all so that's one to be careful of so if that one's open and you can close as many of these bulbs as you like you could leave one of these switches out so there's always one bulb in if you want that might be an idea but uh, that's it that's the basic circuit so remembering as I said before in the UK spe specifically um, neutral is earth bonded at some point or the earth is attached to the neutral at some point either at the substation or in your consumer unit so always remember look at the earth as a neutral it's, if you're going to truly isolate you need a switch uh, the other thing to remember is uh, don't plug your test equipment into this because it's floating not a good idea uh, only test in the up, put in the apparatus that you're looking to see if it's damaged don't put your actual test equipment don't put plug an oscilloscope into this always plug the oscilloscope into the mains earth accordingly have your piece of equipment that you're testing floating and away from earth okay that's it hope that's useful